Welcome to Digital Asset News, take the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. So today, instead of going over the news that is going on, and let me just uh, preface it with this, all the news is fantastic. Um, I wanna talk to you about why I think that if you're just getting in right now, this is like the perfect time of all times to uh, really get in. And what I'm talking about is because when I got in in 2017, I didn't really understand about cycles. I didn't really understand really what cryptocurrency and digital assets were. And I just kind of dumped a bunch of money into it. And uh, I paid the price at the beginning of 2018 when there was a massive dump. And if I would have known uh, exactly what I'm gonna tell you today, I would have had stronger hands. I, would, I, would, I think I would have made a lot better decisions. So again, to uh, reiterate, uh, this is like the perfect time if you were just getting in right now. Uh, also, you'll notice that uh, I'm using the wired headphone again because we've used a couple different microphones and because of, you know, we're in uh, the office and it's a pretty big place and uh, it's just echoes everywhere. So this, amazingly enough, uh, is the best microphone I've found so far. Anyhow, so let's take a look at what's going on with the market. And we're gonna go over this real quick because it's, uh, it, it's relevant to a point. So first of all, it is, uh, Jesus, what time is it? January 6th, 8 a.m. Uh, El Paso, Texas time. And uh, Bitcoin is making up, uh, of course, more gains today. It's up 26% for the week, 7%. It's at 34.5. And even last night, it was at 35,500. So uh, if you're a Bitcoin holder, congratulations. This was a great day. And we are hitting an all-time highs. Uh, the market cap is $961 billion. We are almost at a $1 trillion market cap, and we have never seen that. Um, just, just, just going from there, we take a look at the alts. Uh, Ethereum at 1100, USD, nah, no one cares. XRP is up, hey, 25 cents. Litecoin's up, dots, I mean, everything's up, really. Cardano's making a massive run. Stellar's uh, huge. Uh, Stellar's huge in uh, Ukraine, I guess. <laughs> they have some new deal, so good for all the Stellar holders. I hold Stellar, too. So when I'm, we're looking at all these things, like, why is it the best time? Well, actually, the best time, if you take a look at it, is... Let me just switch over here. Let me show you. This is the, the historical charts. And you can find this at 99bitcoins.com. It's the best website I found to go all the way back to the very beginning, almost to, I think it was like 2010, which uh, CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko, they don't go uh, that far back. But these ones do. And I dollar cost average. If you're new to the channel, welcome. But I'm not a trader. Uh, I don't do a lot of big moves. I just invest and I'm just an investor, very boring. I just put money in every, uh, sometimes day, sometimes every three days, sometimes every week. And to me, the time when you make all the money, really, is right here. See where it's really boring, nothing really going on? Uh, that's when you invest, because that's when nobody invests, because it's not exciting. There is nothing exciting about waking up and going, wow, you know, Bitcoin's up 0.2%, fantastic. Now, if you're in the traditional market, that is huge, huge news. You're like, wow, you know, almost, almost a half a point, that's amazing. But in cryptocurrency, it's uh, super boring uh, for us. And uh, that's just how it is. But it is where all the money is being made. However, I will say this. Um, right now, where we are at, you have to understand something first. Let me back up. Everything goes in cycles. Everything goes in cycles. So what I'm going to show you is everything goes from uh, having all-time high dip reset. Having all-time high dip reset. What am I talking about? Well, it, everything's in a, in a four-year cycle. So this is the first cycle that we saw. There was a halving, a Bitcoin halving, uh, in 2012. And that's really not the big thing. The big thing is what happens the next year after. So we had a, a halving in 2012. And in 2013, we had the all-time high. So imagine this. You bought Bitcoin somewhere around here. You were dollar-cost averaging, right? at five, Jesus, five bucks, six bucks, 10 bucks, something like that for months and months and months. And super boring. You're like, who cares? And then it goes, it's like a hundred. You're like, I'm a genius. And then you sell or whatever, which you shouldn't have. You should just keep dollar cost averaging, dollar cost averaging until you hit this 2013 all time high, around a thousand dollars. Then what happens every year since uh, you have having 2012, 2013 all time high, 2014, you have this massive dip. And that's where people, they just get out. Cause like, I don't know what's going on, so I'm out here. This was the first one, so I can understand why they, why they did that. Very few people actually held on. And then 2015, it's kind of like a reset. Now let's take a look at the next cycle. Next cycle again, 2016 was our having Nothing going on. But this is when you want to invest, when it's boring as hell. And then you have it like run. Imagine 600 bucks, 600 bucks. And you keep going, you're like, eh. And then 2017, you're like, wow, 2,700 bucks, that's a lot of money. 
and then it goes up to 20,000. You're like, wow, it's pretty good 10X. And then of course, 2018 was the big dip. 2019 was the reset. And 2020, we had another halving. So it's the same thing over and over again, right? It is the halving, the all-time high, the dip, and the reset. So our halving just happened 2020. 2021, we are in the all-time high. So what, what does that look like? Well, that looks like this. If you want to take a look at, no, let's go back to the very first one. 2012 was the halving. This right here is where we're at. We're somewhere around, actually, excuse me, we're somewhere around here, 2013, in the beginning. Imagine going from $27 to $1,000. That's not bad, okay? You need to take a look over here. This is where we're at. We're in the beginning of 2017. 1000 bucks for a Bitcoin, 20000 So we are, again in January, right around here. And I can't predict what's going to happen. But if you can just take a look at the last two cycles, this little trough is where we're at. This little trough is where we're at. So we are going massively up. And that's why I say, like, right now, the best time, of course, is already passed to accumulate. However, it's very tough to accumulate during those times because life events come up, somebody gets sick, you got to put in into other investment properties, whatever you're doing, right? So it's very hard to keep that, that discipline at dollar cost averaging. This is why I like Voyager. This is why I like Kraken. This is why I like Gemini. Well, I don't know if Kraken, but Gemini for sure. And there's this the, the, the dollar cost average button. And I just click on that. I put in, uh, there are actually four currencies or cryptos that I dollar cost average in every single day. And those are uh, Ethereum. Well, it was uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and uh, Voyager token. And now uh, I've reduced my Bitcoin position because I'm already on my positions. And now I'm trying to dollar cost average Celsius every day, which kind of sucks because I can only get it on Uniswap and the uh, fees are, are huge. Uh, we'll talk about that later. So when, with all these things going on, I think this is the best time for you if you are new because it's exciting. Why is it exciting? Well, just take a look at this. There is nothing fantastic about a 0.51% uh, increase. However, right now, if your money is going up 7%, 9%, 10%, 27%, 76% in a 24 hour time frame, it's a hell of a lot easier to stick in with a dollar cost average. You're like, well, this is easy. I just put keep money in and just, you know, it's like a, it's like a magic ATM and it just keeps going and going and going. So if it was me, this would be fantastic. Uh, I would have dumped a good amount of money in. Now, here's the, here's the rub. Um, for me, dollar cost averaging worked great because it just ding, 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 and off I went. However, uh, right now, the question is, should I go all in? Should I just take a big lump sum of cash and just put it on? Because if history repeats itself and we are right here, and if I sell my house and my kidneys and my children, I can have a lot of money and I can just put it all into Bitcoin and then off I go. And the same thing happened last time. The same thing happened here. So I can't tell you what to do. And I'm not going to tell you to do that. That is for sure. Uh, it is very tempting to do that. Believe me, I've got a good amount of money just uh, stocked away for some, some bad uh, occurrences that could happen. It's very hard to look at all that money and go, you know what, if I put X amount in Bitcoin, it's going to go up to 150,000, 250,000. It could be up to half a million by the end of 2021, depending on who you talk to. And me, I just can't do it because it is, uh, it is irresponsible for me to do such things. However, I had a great interview with, let me see if I can find it. That's not it. With Diddy. And if you don't know Diddy, it is right here. This is from um, danteachescrypto.com. It's my 100% free website. You can go there and learn all about uh, the basics of cryptocurrency, how to invest, how to do your own research, how to buy Celsius, and, and, and how to buy Theta and if you're in the United States and all that stuff. Um, but I did this great interview with Diddy. Diddy's a pretty interesting guy. The person, you probably heard the story, the, the family that sold all their possessions and they put it all into Bitcoin in 2017 in the very beginning, in the early parts, um, that is Diddy, and he came on the show, and he's <laughs> he's just like, you know what, man, you got to do it. You got to go all in. I'm like, dude, Diddy, that's not that's not my thing. And uh, I told him, I said, Diddy, here's the thing. 
I think you got lucky. I, I think you got lucky at the timing. And yes, uh, it was, you know, Bitcoin is a great play. We know it's going to go to half a million dollars at some point. The question is when. It's not about if, it's about when. And I can't take that chance with all my money in case it takes like 10 years, 15 years, you know. Um, so I was like, I, I can't do that. And he's like, yeah, it makes sense. He goes, but uh, he's like, yeah, I really did that. Did a good play. He did. So what, after I said that, he said something pretty smart, which is a smart guy. He says, uh, you know what? He goes, if I could do it, he goes, you could always dollar cost average in to your lump sum. And I was like, yeah, yeah, Daddy, whatever. Okay, sure. And I, and I didn't really think about it, but I think about it right now. And it does make a lot of sense. So let's say you're here. Whoops. Let's say you're here. It's today, right? January 6th, something like that? Yeah. January 6th. And you just sold your house. And actually, someone, somebody just emailed me a little bit ago and said, hey, I, uh, you know, how do I sell my house and all my cars through my business to get a, uh, a tax deduction so I can buy cryptocurrency and more of it? I was like, well, talk to Sheehan. He's the crypto CPA. So when we take a look at this, I thought about it. And I said, you know what? That's not a bad idea. What if you could take, let's say you take, let's shoot for the moon. We have $100,000, right? If you put $100,000 in right now today, I think that's irresponsible. I think you can make a lot of money. But again, you, if you don't have $100,000 just to play around with, it's a little bit off-putting. So here's what I would say. What if you broke that up into six payments? Six payments. Make it sound like an infomercial. Let's say it's just... Uh, Six, well, let's do, let's do round numbers. Let's do $20,000 in five payments in five uh, separations. So if I did 20,000, let's say I put 20,000 in today right now, I would get 0.75 Bitcoin roughly, right? So if I could do that and let's say I screw up. This is 2017. Let's say we think it's here, right? We think we're right here. So we put 20,000 in right here. And then like, actually right over here, 20,000 in right here. And then let's say like in four weeks, we put another 20,000 in. So now we're right here. So it did go up. Okay, sure. Then four weeks, up a little bit, then four weeks, then four weeks. But let's say we get caught up here. And for some reason, we don't realize it. Let's say that the whole theory of all these cycles go out the window. And for some reason, we get caught here. And then something happens in, in 2020. Who knows? It's a crazy world, right? And then it, it just starts to dip and dive. So if I would have put in 100000 right here, that's bad news. But if I would have done it every four weeks, I could have picked it up here. And then maybe down here. Then maybe a little bit here. And then down here. And then here. So instead of putting like, you know, like what I do, which is a little bit, 25 to 100 bucks a day, uh, depending or 10 bucks a day or whatever I put. Uh, instead of doing that, what if I just take like six or five different divisions and I just put it all in because I know this is the year. 2021 is going to be a big year. So there's many options, I would say. This is why I wanted to bring, bring out this video because I think there's a lot of upside potential and asymmetrical gains. And I think you could do it a little bit better by doing these uh, types of bulk allocations. And then you also have to think about this. If Bitcoin goes up to where I think it is, which is 150,000 conservative in 2021, Max Kaiser was just on Stansbury Research and he said that he's gonna, he thinks it's gonna go to 220,000. And he was pretty close uh, for the last one. He thought that Bitcoin would be 20,000 by the end of the year and he was off by 10,000. So let's say he's off again in, in the other direction. Uh, not too bad. Uh, then we had Alex Mashinsky. Uh, he predicted 30,000 by the end of the year, and he was off by like 50 bucks or something like that. I don't know what he's got for, for this year, but let's just say it's about 150,000, right? Maybe 200,000. So maybe we're looking at five or six X. Okay. But what about Ethereum? Do you think Ethereum can't go to five grand, 10 grand, 15 grand? Maybe. I don't know about that. What about Litecoin? Do you think Litecoin can go to 500 bucks? Do you think Polkadot can go to $50 or $100? Do you think Cardano, which is sitting around 30 cents and it's all time high, was like $1.13, can't 10X, 20X, 30X? I don't know, but uh, I would just say like this. Uh, there are some people that only buy one thing and uh, those people, I say, you know, hats off to you, tip of the hat if you can make it work. But uh, I'm, I really like to diversify. So if you want to go all in on Bitcoin like the Bitcoin maximalist and say, yeah, that's it. That's the only one that I can got. 
you can do that, but I, what, I can't tell you what to do. But what I'm doing is I'm putting the bulk is in Bitcoin, Ethereum, which is roughly 50%, 60%, somewhere around there. Then the rest of them, I have Ethereum, I have Polkadot, Cardano, Stellar, Chainlink, EOS, eh, Celsius, Theta, VeChain. Those are the big ones, actually. And then I have the Voyager token. What if you allocated a big chunk of that to the other parts? Because maybe they can go up a little bit more. This is what I would do. Anyhow, uh, this video is getting a little bit long, but that's just uh, one of the theories that I had. I thought I'd share it with everybody. But again, I think if you are right here today, if you just stepped in, you don't know anything about it, first of all, go to, Dan, go to danteachescrypto.com. It's 100% free. Click on the Start Learning. You can sign up. And then uh, if you're trying to look at like, you know, which projects to get into, uh, when you finally, when you log in the members homepage, just scroll down to reviews. And I want you to watch this video. It's called Do Your Own Research it was with me and Ian Bolina. And he showed me how he did the basics of research when he did it to gain like millions of dollars for these different projects that he invested into. And it was fascinating. He has five criteria and I laid it all out for you. So this might be something to look at. Anyhow, it's going a little bit long. I apologize, but I thought it was good stuff. So again, if you're here today, congratulations. I wish I was you. And that is it. So uh, thanks for watching all the way in. I really appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, there's going to be two that's going to pop up on your left and right. I'll let uh, YouTube do their magic. And uh, that is all. I'll be putting another video today because there's some uh, interesting stuff about a hedge fund that just dumped a uh, billion dollars uh, into Bitcoin and Coinbase helped them. So if you're having problems with uh, Coinbase and customer support, probably because they're paying a little bit more attention to institutions. All right. So that's it. Thanks so much. And I'll see you on the next one.